Hello. I just thought I'd check in and say hi to everyone and give you a wee update. I keep promising to um, give you meditations and things like that. So I teach my students, my graduates, my myself that if you can't hold your own space, you shouldn't be trying to hold others' space. So this past couple of weeks have really been about holding my own space to try and be a better version of myself so I can, I'm able to process things and be able to give more. So I'm kind of getting there. And I've, my meditations have been really helpful, so I really want to share that. I want to share having a cup of tea. I really miss having cups of tea with my loved ones. Luna wouldn't move out of the way, so meet Luna. She's having a nice time with herself today. And excuse my, the sound of my windy cat flap. And that's not a euphemism, by the way. It's a windy day and I have a cat flap next to me. So, um, my plan is to try and figure out how to set up Zoom so that I can provide some classes. Um, I'm going to be doing some for Kippy, my, the family yoga that I normally offer. Um, but I really want to, I know that the way things are for everyone, myself included, some of us aren't bringing any money in. So I'm not expecting the moment to bring any money in from you either. I want to share and I want to give back to the people that supported me. Um, so I'm going to do some kids classes, hence the reason some of you have seen my, I've been cleaning my fancy dress cupboard out. Um, I'm going to do some family yoga classes and some of my adult classes and some Ayurvedic um, dosha balancing classes. So we're going to do some things to really help apply what's going on just now to our practices. So I'm going to try and put that on YouTube and they're going to be short, just not really big lengthy ones, just things that you can apply every day, do with your families and um, have a and everyone will be able to have access to them. So I'm going to, my, that's my hope, I'm going to try and do a few of them. I want to share some of my meditations that I've been doing um, and I want to share some of the the yogic philosophy that I apply to my life. I think at this, at this day and age, it's instead of dropping off your yoga mat or just applying the asana, it's good to apply the asana and do the exercise part of things to release the tension and the built up, um, you know, release the fear and to release anything that you're holding on to, emotions as well so that you know it doesn't transmute into anything else it's great to keep moving but it's also um by doing that it allows you to to still the mind so according to patanjali yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind stuff and um you know the reason we we pra do our practice is to really try and still our mind um, because I'm not, because I, I've had recently had an operation, I got s stitches just removed yesterday from my back, and then I'm going to be able to practice more. But I've really been upping my, my pranayama game, my breathing technique game. Um, so the breath is the bridge to the mind, and the mind is the bridge to the soul. So the more that we can um, try and contain our breath, or not contain our breath, but but control it, the more we can help control the fluctuations of the mind stuff and really know that we are the masters of our mind or you know, and, and be able to cope with what's going on in the world. And the more you can control your mind stuff, the more you can gain access and open the keys to your subconscious and to, to really open up to who you are and know to do the right thing which leads us to the Bhagavad Gita, which is, you know, it's, it's more like a, it's a large poem, but it's a handbook on how to live your life. Um, it can sometimes be, you know, translated as skill in action. And skill in action isn't just now about being good at doing something or looking great on your mat. So it's about really learning to sit in the eye of the storm. This is what we're all doing just now, or we're trying to do. 
and it, it can be difficult. There's not a day that goes by where you have a small moment of sadness or a little bit of emotion because the world's a bit crazy just now and having empathy and compassion and, and feelings, there's nothing wrong with that. So it's about learning to sit in the eye of the storm and not react. Crying sometimes isn't reacting. It, it's, it's done in a way that's that you're not having complete meltdowns every day. You know, so uh, allowing your feelings to visit you, you know, and knowing that they are not you. Um, so you're learning to sit in the eye of the storm, not react, and you're choosing whether you're going to act. What can you do to help yourself or to help others? And if you can't, what can you let go of? and just allow yourself to be. And this is where some of the philosophies and yoga practices that I've been studying, I've been practicing for almost over 25 years and, and reading for reading yogic practices and spiritual books and, and meditating for far longer. Um, this is where times like this, times of crisis that we can really up our game and use this time to as an opportunity for spiritual growth so instead of being all hey come on now guys you've got to do this i really just want to share and support and you don't have to listen to me and if you do that's fine but that's my plan anyway but you know as we know things change um for teacher trainings i'm still trying to run a teacher training with or trying to support my trainees at the moment we don't know where we're going what we're doing but i'm trying to give them some guidelines and things to do uh, as we progress um but my main thing just now is to, i'm going to do some online stuff but because my type of practice is about connecting it's a connecting energetically to my students, to, to people feeling the energy of the room. So online is a really difficult thing for me, hence the reason it's taken me so long to think about doing this. Um, but I still want to give back. But after this is all over, okay, things will never be the same, I still want to connect. I still want to do teacher trainings that will be allowing you to connect and learning how to connect with each other and your students and yourself and I can't do this on a you know computer screen I need to be able to do this in person so I can really feel that and um, so I'm not giving that up I'm just for the moment we all have to try and flow with where we're at and do what we can and I still want to to go with this so it's about letting go accepting practicing all the things that we're supposed to be practicing um, working with the kleshas which are the obstacles to enlightenment and i want to share more of these things with you so that maybe you can apply some of them and you know we can also have fun too and it's okay to smile sometimes it's okay to cry Let's sit with where we are and do this together and have lots of fun. And probably my cats will annoy you, or they, they don't annoy me so much, um, but they'll be interesting because sometimes Pepe likes to tap dance on the conservatory roof when I'm teaching. So we'll see what happens and we'll go with it. And I'm looking forward to this strange journey. Okay, bye-bye.